And you know how the show is. It's the same thing. You know, come with this thing. Right. Pretty amazing, man. Giving people right. the opportunity to come on and wrap their story and bring some bread, so I'm ready. All eyes is on AB. There's so many things that come out of moments like this. The dude took his shirt off. He does that. Now he's at the center of the conversation, not only sports, but also culture. We don't know if he reacted or if he responded. Reacting is emotional. Responding is calculated. Let's really have a real conversation. Let's hear from him. out, you cut. Oh yeah, I would have cut, I would have snapped on the coach, but I wouldn't have did that. I would have walked up to him like this and I'd be like, you motherfucker, when we get in the locker, I'm gonna slap the shit out of your ass. You told him that for real? That's what Bruce Arians told him. But you can't do that. You know there's you know there's 20 cameras in a stadium, bro. Like, oh no, I low key probably did that too though. Huh? I would have probably did that too. Like walked off. Right. You would have stayed off. on the field now. Nah, hell no. Nah. If he told me I'm cut right there. That's what he said. <laughs> but you okay, go to the locker room, but don't take your shirt off. Well, I'm not gonna stay there on the sideline like uh, yeah, no. <laughs> We had to fight to get a meal, yeah, wrongfully accused, we had to fight to get a pill, that's why we right to get a deal, he on the team, he gotta eat, you know, despite your skills, Fact. keep it riding for the fam, you gotta like the wiggin' wheels, straight up, but in the past bad, work up in the trash bag, I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class, yeah, and my family needed bread, I had to come correct, that's why I keep airing it out like I just passed gas. I am athlete parlay. We've been hot, 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 hot. These are guaranteed wins. I'm gonna take Arizona over San Fran. Whoa. It's all about matchups, understanding who's playing against who. It's a game of chess. Hey, you know, I am athlete partner with DraftKings Sportsbook, the official partner, betting partner of the NFL. Look, this playoffs, this is the offer. Super simple, 56 to one odds. You bet five bucks, they're gonna give you 280 in free bets. Just five bucks and you get 280 any playoff game. Come on, man, get in the game and make it rain. Aye! DraftKings.com is the sports book. I Am Athlete is the platform. Parlay, I Am Athlete all day. Promo code athlete, let's get it. That's good, that's nice. My, ooh, ah, oh, oh, damn. I gave him crazy work. Crazy work. Crazy work. Ooh, ah. Crazy work. Ooh, ah, damn. Crazy work. Brains, Brains was nice. Was not crazy work. Ooh, ah. Oh, damn. Crazy work. You here, A.B.? I'm from the pit, not the palace. I want to know what that means. Yeah, hey, yeah, right. He said a little bit. <laughs> he said, he said. <laughs> AB, you owe us about 100 push ups, too, and uh, conduct detrimental to the 10 year ass three hours late. Whatever you want. <laughs> he said, whatever you want. <laughs> nah, but for I want to pay homage. Uh, appreciate you lending the crib. Getting us out to LA, my big brother, my mentor in business, AB, founder, CEO of Sunday to Sunday. You know, I wanted to say what's up, pay hey, homage. 
Hey, I appreciate it, man. Right. Nah, nah, nah. I'm welcome. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm excited for you to make it a movement. You know what I mean? So I know you're going to drop that, drop that heat, talk that talk with these boys. I know my man Nick. He gonna hold he gonna hold us down right now for for the LA crew, but right. now nah, I'm I'm hyped for this convo, man. I'm, right. I'm real hyped. So it's needed. Hey, all love, man. Hey, you Appreciate guys enjoy you. that one. Enjoy. So when did you record that? Probably like two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. So did you record a bunch of music that you've been sitting on for a while? See, now that's one of the things that happened with me, where it's like none of my writing I actually felt comfortable with, or anything that I did separate from football that I feel comfortable with until I was done, right? Because it almost felt like, you know, I felt fraudulent, like trying to write on the plane after a game, right? While everybody else was like reviewing film. Wait, so, you were writing like raps? No, just. Or just, poetry. You yeah, like, you like writing, poems. Yeah, writing. Not poems, <laughs> but. How about I say, you're not a rapper. Observation. <laughs> yeah, you no, not no, a rapper. No, no, no observation. speaking. <laughs> yeah, observation. About politics and all kinds of shit. <laughs> all types of shit. <laughs> all types of shit. That's crazy that it was two years ago. That was a big question. When you took off your shirt, met Life Stadium, boom, <laughs> he's right. Everybody was like, oh, what's next? It's calculated. A song dropped. This was all stage. It was planned. I mean, yeah, I wrote the song two years ago. I kind of made it talking to my Uncle Corey, who on the, uh, the chorus, being on the phone with him, you know, going through a lot, talking to my uncle, like, you know, about the decisions and moves I need to make. Usually when I talk to him, he don't never really agree sometimes. So right. it was just a regular conversation that we'd be having. We just turned it to a song. That was a big question for me. What was the inspiration behind the song? And I was, you know, preparing for this conversation. I pulled Jared to the side. I was like, yo, if you really think about it, a lot of people use music to express themselves. Yeah, because, you, know, you know, as a football player, you know, you know some things might happen. You may not get a chance to express it or, or get it out or go over it. So, you know, you don't want to hold on to a lot of things. So being able to create music, being able to express some of the things you may feel, some of the things you may can't say. Right. And uh, the pit from the palace was just one of those things in 2019. You know, you finally realize when you start to do things for yourself, what's best for yourself, you know, how people treat you. So I was just having a cordial conversation with my uncle, just like, about what the, where I was at at that time, and he just like, it's gonna be a tough move. Like, I don't think. Now, was your uncle a biblical man? Yeah, he real spiritual. Yeah. He played football too, so he kind of understand the ins and outs of the game. You know, Corey Fuller, he played with Cleveland Browns a okay. long time, Florida yeah. State. Because, you know, Pits of the Palace was, you know, it's a biblical reference of Joseph. Yeah. You know, came from know. nothing and got everything, right? Yeah, man. So I didn't brother know. Brother knowledge, brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> he said brother knowledge. Yeah. Brother knowledge. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. I didn't know, know that. Right? No, I'm serious. That's right? a yeah. biblical reference. It is, man. It is. Come from nothing and make something. You know yeah. So, no, that's yeah. good, man. That's really good. So cool. I guess my question to you, AB, is. 2019, like how do you take that story and what that means and translate that to what you are going through? I mean, you can look at it from so many forms of angle. You know, I started in Pittsburgh. I started as a young player, 22 year old. I didn't have nothing, you know, so to be able to work yourself up and get to the palace. But in regards to his story, you know, uh, you know, you never know how like mentally you are, how people write about you, how they treat you or what you gotta go through, you know what I mean? Some people could put you in a pit just off the narrative people create of you or how people think about you. But it's, a, it's just a form of statement in your mind, you know, how you feel. Life is about what you believe within yourself, so. I, I didn't want to go this deep, Swaggy, to start the show. Like, I thought we was gonna ease into that. I wanted to start off like, you know, more on a L.A. vibe, like we in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> and I really wanted to say, like, and I'm being honest with this, bro. Like, I, my energy, that, how I'm about to come at you, this is real. Bro, how the hell you standing next to Madonna, Kanye, Floyd? That was legendary. <laughs> right, like. That was legendary. You know what I'm saying? Like, explain that. You know what I'm saying? Because we in L.A., you on the L.A. vibe right now. They with me too, though. Ooh, what you mean? I'm that boy, you heard? <laughs> That's that confidence. Nah, it's true though. 100%. I still want to dive a little deeper into this Madonna. What does she smell like? What does she look like? Now listen, she's worried about me. 
I was like, yo, you standing next to Floyd, Madonna, Ye. And, uh, and right now you... And there's a couple the others. I don't even know their right names, now, but I know yeah. they're iconic because yeah. they was with Kanye. Can you, like, give us that moment? Like, I want to know what the, what, the, what the music, what the vibe was like, what the smell was like. Right, like, come on, bro. Like, let us live through you. I'm trying to live through you. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Kanye is a genius, man. You know, you'd be sad to be around a guy like that with great energy, the culture of rap, fashion. So it's great to be around an icon. You know, we don't take it for granted. Creative genius, so. What makes Kanye special? Well, he just got the mindset. Mindset, work at creativity. Y'all got a lot in common. But you sound I'm crazy? You say that again? What are you trying to say? I'm crazy? No. <laughs> so I think that. crazy, low key. What's the good crazy? <laughs> you, you said, so you calling them crazy? Yeah. So you calling AB crazy? Crazy, crazy gets you money nowadays. <laughs> it's all right. People love crazy. So when I say, when my statement around <laughs> you guys are a lot alike is more so disruptive. I'm a disruptor. And I'm like, I can't, I have empathy. Cause I'm like, yo, I can understand why he may think that way or why he may do that. So my statement, it has nothing to do with that. Cause I don't know your mental health. I don't know that. Obviously, you know, a lot of your interviews right now are, you know, going viral and going everywhere. And I think that's one of the ones I was interested in was the Full Send uh, podcast, because I think you articulated really well about CTE, right? And that's one thing I've been focused on. You probably don't know much about what I've been doing after my career, but one of the things that I focus on was CTE. So of course, you know, I get messages, he gets messages, we all get messages when we're talking about mental health and stuff like that. And that's one of the biggest things that I saw was that you actually knew and <laughs> understood, it's big. right, yeah. that CTE is something that after the fact, right, you yeah. can only tell when you're dead, right? There's a lot of players that don't know that. There's a lot of players that are scared of it, right, without even knowing any of the facts. So, have you researched it? Did you talk to any doctors yeah. about it? Because I think the thing is, is that what you said was, was poignant. It was on point because there's a lot of players that can't even articulate how they feel about CT because they're scared to. So. Yo, know, knowledge is everything, and in playing the game, you know, you want to research the game and know what we signed up for. Yeah. And you want to live a long time. You know, the purpose of life is to be living. So, no. part of living, you got to understand what the game means, what the games come with, and. No, it makes sense. You know, I filmed a documentary for the past like four years and it took a lot of studying and reading for me to kind of actually talk about this because during my career, I was scared to even talk about it because I didn't want to, you know, I didn't even want to entertain it. You know, just because you entertain it, all of a sudden you hesitate. I'm a straight shooter come right at you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, and that's part of my job now, yeah. post career, right? Like this forum and it's a safe place. I'm always going to protect the athlete because I, you know, I am an athlete, you know, I. I've been through it, and I understand it, the good, the bad, the ugly. You take, you, you unstrap your helmet, you take your helmet off, then you take your jersey off, and this is my way of being funny. You <laughs> like, funny? Like, yeah, like, got, yeah. You, then you take your, your jersey off, you unstrap your pads, because you got boom, boom, right? Or yeah, you yeah. Like, bam, bam. <laughs> it's different, nah, so sure. you don't know about this. I don't know about that. Yeah. Okay, then you take your shoulder pad off, I don't know if you had, do you, do you, did you wear undershirt underneath the, you wear under? I ain't, yeah. I ain't used to wear undershirts. Are you a free baller? Yeah, a free baller. <laughs> I felt sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so you do that, bro. You run out, you throw the peace sign. And so everybody watching, the world watching. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the conversation, AB's mental health. Yeah. CTE, that conversation. That's everybody, that's, that's what's, what's going on. So like I, I like really go deep and and go and give me your perspective around that conversation. But anytime a black man, an African American male, um, become a target or become a forefront or a face of anything, you know, it's just unfortunate. You know, imagine yourself putting yourself in my shoes as a football player. You just won a Super Bowl with a team. You won the team. You give them a y'all. You know, I, I was out since what week six with a torn deltoid ligament and imagine the coach tell you like get the f out of here you done like you hurt they know you're hurt they know what it is you did that on the full send podcast because that's important yeah, like, do that. yeah you done so 
I'm trying to, in that moment, I'm already mad, you know, because I can't really, you know how you feel when you hurt, you're already a little frustrated. So I'm trying to fathom, like he just said, get the f out of here and you done. Oh, yeah, that's sick. So like, yo, I came with this team, man, I'm with you guys. Like, I'm wearing your guys' uniform, man. I'm representing you guys right now. I'm, I'm, I'm sacrificing my health to be out here with you. I just got a text from you prior to the game. You said, hey, man, just come with us. If you could go, just give us what you got. So I already had an understanding with the coach. You know what I mean? And then to come to the game and then I give him what I got and tell him, yo, I can't go no more. For him to come and be like, yo, get the f out of here, you done. Was that mid-game? Yeah, during yeah. the game. So in my mind, I'm like, yeah, he lives on the farm, so he don't know all of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. I apologize. No yeah. pressure. Yeah, yeah so. No, because no, I mean, because the thing is, I get flashbacks to my own anger, right? Sometimes it was justified, and sometimes it wasn't. Yeah. There was times I was yelling at coaches, and some, sometimes coaches yelling at me. So that was the thing. It was like, you know, obviously when you get bombarded with a bunch of messages about somebody else being in a similar position that you've been, you know, there's a lot of things that people don't know, but at the same time, I sat there and I reviewed the tape. Was there anything I could have done differently? Right. You know, could I handled it differently? Now, you know, I was just a 3-4 defensive end, you know, taking double yeah, teams. Yeah, but listen, listen touchdown. we are from different places, bro. Like, the way you f*** off, it may not be the way we do it. You know, we all got different looks on life, on how we react. You know, if a guy pushed you in school, I don't know what you might have did. If a guy pushed me in school, I know what law I live on, what we would have did. So... When I know a coach and the, and the team ain't got my back and the situation where I'm hurt and you telling me to get the f out of there, yeah. ain't no more professional. Ain't no more professional, but I don't want to wear your f I'm getting the f out but of here. before all of that, were, did you have a good relationship with him? Nah, man. These, nah. I've been working with these guys under the restrictions, though. They, they never wanted AB. Tom wanted AB. This is the tough position I'm in because I'm with you. Why you ain't go to ESPN? Why, why you ain't talk to ESPN? Or listen, so I'm, or, listen. Or, or, or like a I'm not running no campaigns for no I know, people to be sorry question. for I'm, me. No, no, I'm asking you a question. Uh. They got a job to do, right? And this is the tough, tough spot. It's like we had Cam, we had D-Wade, and we had tough conversations. And this is why I love our platform is because it's the locker room. And also in the locker room, we kumbaya, we do that. But also, like, we have OGs that we... You know, to help us and mold us and shape us. But and the OGs don't help. What OGs? Some, there's some OGs. Who? There's Name some Rod, Rod Smith for me. My OG was Ross Smith. Yeah, but they Who was your you. OG? My OG up. Good with Arena? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then, and then, but and then, you had and, an OG and, and, though. No, listen, but they end up leadership of people that say, yo, when you do this, this messed up. When you did this, yeah, man, I ain't I respect that. that. So, you ain't had no OG in football? In the locker room? All you guys want to be the guy. Like you said, you got the new deal over life is drill. Like, the life is drill not even here. But in your mind, your mental health, that, that what made you feel like that was logic. You see what I'm saying? No, I, I wanted to be your OG. You wasn't my OG, though. You helped me, you, like, you I had to me. pull out to your facility. That's right. All right, so that's me being a young guy coming to learn. It wasn't no OG where you like, little bro, I know you're going to be special, like, you just let me know. You ain't let the people know, like, yo, man, I'm working with AB, woo, woo. No, this is the, remember, I but said. But you don't I owe me that. Me. Listen, you don't owe me that, bro. You got right. kids. Nobody owe you nothing. All I'm saying, the leadership, and if Swaggy P was to do something wrong, I'm going to hear Swaggy like, Swaggy, dog. I felt that way you did, but I ain't respect this. Right. It's not a lot of love for that going on. Right. It's just like, you know, guys just feel like they could say anything. You could, yo, you can't play with me, like. Right. On the, on, like, you know what I mean? On the for real. Like, what do you think you could just. And that's, and, but that's why I struggled in the locker room the first half of my career, because I, the same mentality. But hold on, this whole thing. This is when I knew you were special. This is when, you know, Pro Bowl after Pro Bowl, 100 catch after 100 catch, whatever. And so, Mike Evans, I was trying to create an environment where the receivers, pass catchers, even tight ends, running backs can come together and we can learn. This dude, so. It, it, this dude, this is before he made it, signed a big deal. We go to to Cuesta Park. We got everybody. Mike, Mike, Mike Evans out there. This y'all ain't played together, did? Mike Evans out there. He's a, a rookie. We got a couple other people out there. Big name cats. This dude pull up in a drop top Rolls Royce <laughs> at first. I was like, what the? You know, I'm, I'm like, what is, what is he doing? What was his name? I ain't even, I, I never even seen a Rolls Royce back then. I'm the money man. He ain't even have his big deal. He pull up in a drop top Rolls Royce. Boom. Come out. No shirt on. Come out on the field. And, you know, I'm the OG out there. And I'm trying to get game. Boom, 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 boom. You looked at me, and this is when I knew you were special. You looked at me and you said, OG, 
This is how you catch the ball. Wherever the ball go, put your nose on the ball. And I sat back, I ain't say nothing to you. Cause I'm like, yo, I'm th that's what I mean, but I was trying to be your OG. Cause I was like, yo, let me give back to you. But I actually learned from you that day. You taught me how to catch the ball better. Did you better. really do that though? He, I, this is a true story. And in my, in my mind, when he first started talking to me, I'm like, who is he to tell me how to catch the ball? I just had 105 catches. But that's what's wrong with our OGs. They ain't really respecting how the young boy's feeling. Like, yo, if I'm saying this, this is how I'm feeling. You already, you already proven. I'm a young G trying to get to where you at, bro. I can't get there if you, everything I say, oh, you just finna little boy me. Every, like, bro, I'm a but grown I, man at the end of the day. But here's what I did, though. I ain't no matter you the age. You don't even age, remember that story. But I'm just you saying. Know, you don't even remember you. No, I love you. I'm just saying in general, as older Gs, we got to be able to bring up the young guys. This is, this is how I push back. And, and we go back to the Kanye, you said, damn. So I said, damn, y'all a lot alike. And I was talking more about the work ethic, the genius in that, and also how y'all disruptors. Okay, there's a, a bunch of people like that. Steve Jobs was like that, right? But the, the challenge that you face is if you're in the construct of uh, the NFL or a, corporate America, you can disrupt, but you gotta be, you gotta understand what's coming with that, look, right? Look, the problem is with black people, like they're living in fear. No one's disrupting. Y'all missing the purpose. The purpose is, you hurt, coach said get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't crazy too. Of okay, course, what okay, you gonna do? Hold on, 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 how they treated you don't went on. All this you get building up daily. And now for me to get to the point where I'm hurt and I can't go and you saying get the fuck out of here. Share, share that narrative though, that's the thing Because too. that's what I keep telling yeah. you. Like, In that situation, was the bonus going through your head? Listen man, I got enough money. If I need money, I go play hurt. Right. I was telling them I can't play, it's bigger than the money, bro. I'm trying to win another chip. I'm trying to do something special like, you see what I'm saying? Right, if, you right. were, if you're trying to win another chip, what if they go win a chip right now? It, I mean, that's great. I did what's best for me. Like I just told you before in the conversation. Where I'm from, we might blow it a little different. Yeah. We all got different ways of how we look at life. Yeah. B. Marshall, he probably wouldn't have took his shirt off. However you would have did this situation, how the coach did. I did what I did because that was what my heart needed me to do. Yeah. That's how I felt. Sure. It ain't nothing to explain to no one. Like okay, what you would have did probably was different. Well. Yo, this is what I did. Everyone can't do what I did. Okay, but here's this is this is what I was going where I was going at, where I was trying talk to get to, to when we, when I talk about Kanye and all that. Sometimes I yeah. take too long to get. But there. but Ye ain't got I'm, nothing I'm to do with it. I'm working on being a journalist. Ye got his AB, own problem. A B here Hold with y'all. No no man. no. But time out. No 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 no. This talk is me. the special thing about the locker room because you said on Pit from the Palace, he inspired you. He called you. Boom. This is what you about to go through. And then you yes, said yes. you got another homeboy. Boom. Accountability. Right. So. For me, I've been through it. That's why I try to say, look, I've been in that seat, that seat where I'm in front of America, where there's four million people watching. I'm trying to give a million dollar check, but then they turn the situation here. So I understand. Nah, but it's stadium, but this, but bro. Up, I'm on all up, kind of. I know, I know, but this is what I'm saying. When you take the you game, mean, you get a shot. What you yeah, on? Yeah, I got the tour off. So shot. what else you on? 100. percent What else you on? You bro, on tour? I played. Tour I, played I, I played. I played. No, listen. I'm not saying what you play. Yeah. But I'm saying <laughs> what you on. We <laughs> all done played. What you on? That's all I'm saying. What you on? Yeah, yeah. What you on? Yeah. <laughs> what you on when you was at the game? What you mean what I was on? Yeah, what you took? What's your old shake? What they shot you? Oh yeah, so this is this is my pregame. Let me hear what you was on. So come to boom. Now what you do? You what what you was on? Me no acid. I wanted to have the best warm up in the world. Not warm Let me up. Tell what you I'm telling you. I'm telling you. What you the answer? He beat around the blues game. What you was on? What you was on? You play. I don't know about your He's saying it's warm up. What you on? I want to tell you. I'm saying about how mad you is in the game, like. Bro, I'm with you. I'm, that's what I'm saying I'm, to you. I know you with oh, me. We yeah. kumbaya. I'm kumbaya. trying to, no, yeah, relax. Right, come back down. No, he we like learning. No, all I'm saying I'm is, asking what you on, gang. What you was on? I don't even know. He, it's over my head. It's over my head What right you now. was on when he you He didn't flip the conversation. Now you Oprah Winfrey. Now AB and Oprah Winfrey. Yeah, you the yeah, guest. You the yeah. host. You, I'm try, you, I'm you try, take I'm over, AB. I don't know. I'm trying to tap me. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, fam, what you on? Like, right, what, right, what right. that shoot you up with? Like, how you, what that make you feel like? Tore how you tore feel like when you hurt? When you hurt during the game, you feel good? Tordo. Are you a little pissed off? A little pissed off. Of course, when yeah. you're not in the game, things ain't going your way. You ain't a little pissed off? Very much so. If, if Swaggy, they ain't passing you the ball. <laughs>
Big hot, right? <laughs> yeah. But I, but that's why I said I can relate to you, and this is where I was trying to go. And I said, you know, I'm I'm learning to be Oprah. Okay, I understand exactly what you're saying and how you feel, because I feel the same way. But here's the re the reality: is this, bro, is like in that moment, because what I would have done in that moment. Yeah, but everyone react huh? different. I know everybody react different. That's what I'm saying. I'm not but, trying but, to explain but, but, the way but, I react. I, I know. I just what I'm saying to you. I re, I can I can understand. Like that wouldn't resonate when when I saw you with your first interview that you did, and you said that I said, oh, yeah, I would I would have been hot too. But the young B Marshall first five years, no telling what would have happened. Yeah. Post McLean Hospital, B Marshall. I would have waited until I got in a locker room because here's why, A.B., and this is where it goes back to the disruptor and what I was trying to say with Kanye West. Post McLean Hospital B. Marshall, I understood that there was four cameras on me at all times. Jay Cutler throw a pick. They, the camera panned to me. He, they told me this. I was just in a cool meeting with ESP, and they told me, like, we, we got a camera on you all the time because you give us the best reactions. And so... I knew there was going to be four cameras watching me, 70,000 cheering live, 4 million tuned in. I'm about to give you that. No, I ain't about to do that because now what you're talking about, now they control the narrative. I don't know how now they can control. Like hold on, stay with me. They control the narrative. <laughs> you can't say so, that control. No, no, no. Yes, you can. Yes, you do. Because guess what? Think about all that. It's four cameras on me all the time. I gotta be professional. NFL, that's NFL, the, NFL, that's NFL, the big NFL, business. Like, it's a sixteen billion players, dollar bro. industry. They that's are, why. Y'all mad in the club. Y'all mad. I mean, the chicks. Yeah, they mad with everything. We're not thinking that straight right there. Can you listen to me? Let me tell you why you need so to So what you saying control. what I did was wrong? What are you saying? I'm not saying what so you So what are you saying? What What's I'm your saying point is of this? it? An NFL Super Bowl team coach told a guy on the team who playing hurt, get the fuck out of here, and you telling me you, Brandon Marshall, would have told him I would have got close to him and started talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do that? You want me to do it? You want me to do it? You want me to show you what I would have did? No. Let me show you what I would have did. Move over, Jared. Let me tell you what I would have did. Because everybody knew me. Let me get in this locker room. Let my point, my point in all this, AB, listen, my, listen, point, listen. my point in all this is saying this, Swaggy, is this. That yeah. my objective, I want to be a Hall of Famer. Yes. My objective is I want I'm finishing okay. my career with a thousand receptions. Right. Oh, there's only a, there's two dudes that did what I did. He's one and I don't know the other dude. You're right. You, you know what I'm but talking listen, about. Hold on, what, no, what point does it come No, no, hold on, time out. I'm with you. Time I'm out. Listen. Stay I'm with listen. me. We kumbaya. I'm gonna listen. We kumbaya. I'm gonna listen. Okay. But I don't like where you're going. You don't like where I'm going. <laughs> I don't like where you're going. <laughs> and I respect it. I respect but I'm gonna listen. Right, I'm gonna listen. listen. I'm gonna listen. So here go my thing. I'm trying to get that. I know what I want. And I also know I want another bag. I'm trying to get another 40 million. Right. So what I'm gonna do, because if if I give him that, if I take off my unstrap my boom, 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 do that peace sign in that life, now they in control. Yes. I lose. Cause now I'm fight is me versus I love that you said the that. media. I love that. Now, here's the deal. This is what I would have did, because you like asked that. me what I would have did. I would have went to Bruce. Do what you, Bruce. Do what Bruce did. Nah, but we can't do being okay, in the Okay, here, this is what Bruce did. He said, get the out of here and he did that if i'm close to coach my ankle this is what up you know i just text you you seen that the world seen that i'd have been like what the fuck is wrong with you you talking to me like that <laughs> you gotta see me in the locker room i promise you no, and listen. this is the corporate merit this is the corporate that. this is the corporate b marshall I love that. because now i'm here with you and they, they, they can't read my lips because you disrespected me and you know I'm an alpha oh, male, I'm a dog, man, and you can't talk to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You think you would have been that collected? No, that's yeah, what yeah. you're talking you about. Been that that have, what do you listen, think? What do you that's think I did my second half of my career? That's the mental health coming in right there. That's the mental okay, health, right? go, go. B. Marshall just said he would have did what he had to do so he could get that what he had to get. So you telling me you're compromising you your integrity? I tell you, control. Yeah, he control. You I a told, footballer. That's why I said, I feel like y'all hey, hey, But hold on, but that's why I said. But what did I say from the beginning? There's you said, you said we was disruptive. You said I was disruptive. Which is a good, it can be a good no, thing. No, listen, being disruptive is not, being disruptive is f***ing something up when something yeah. going right. No, that's not what I'm saying. Being, no, having integrity. Steve Jobs having, was disruptive. Uh, Jeff Bezos is disruptive. Because his business was Elon so good. Mil Elon Musk, his Kanye business was West. so good. Their That's business so good. And your business Not is because good. they was disruptive, it's because they were standing on good principles and delivering high work. 
The problem is what he said with mental health. Football players will always have mental health problems because what you said. Be, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. He just you. said, I love the way you said you would handle it. But at the end of the day, when it become like he said, it, it become a time where you like. Okay. You gotta okay, stand okay, on okay, principle okay, and integrity. Like, yo, you can't. This is so good. This is so good. Away. Stay with me right here. This is what, what I'm you? saying to you. So is football players' mental health gonna sustain for when they after that their career when you just said they willing to be treated the wrong way yeah. to get what they gotta yeah, get? The crazy. Hall of Fame, the bad. That's why I said the disruptive, because like that's this. That's not disruptive. Some people respond. And Can you look at the react. definition of disruptive? Yeah, Because we let's kumbaya do that. and it's and again, all right, this, we gonna kumbaya. And then while we while she looking up, what's the definition, definition of disruption? So I can read it out. Say it again. Start disruption. Over. Hold on. Say it again. Disruptive. Causing disruption. Go ahead. Causing or tending to. I got it. You 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 talking? Well, I can't even hear what the, what the definition. I already got it. I was, I was trying to tell you. What's the See, second? That's not what's the OGs. second? What's the second when line? the OGs yeah. get enlightened by the young youth, they get uncomfortable. Okay. Right. So, so what's the second line? There's a line. Go 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 go. Disruptive. So that's being able to. Okay, can you stay with me now? I'm, I'm actually with you. You're not even. You're not even. I had with you, you change your seat right now. The OG. That's the first five years. It brought him closer. It brought him closer. That's the first five years. I brought him in. You see? That's the first five years. Marshall would have been. What did you say? The first Listen, five years. You would have been. Look, I told this you. Side, no. he released, the line. He said, this how he released at the line. He said, it's like he jacked. Move, move, move. Up my team. <laughs> Look, you know my of course, it's a legendary move. Look, he grabbing guys and body him before he even uses his feet. And he telling me he was going to go to the coach and say, come here, man. No, I'm when we get you, a locker. I'm going to f*** you up. Listen, I'm going to f*** you up. You don't want to get, you got 30 yards right now. You going you gonna to tell them I'm that? I'm hot. How hot? Jake Keller ain't passing the ball. How hot? Hey, look, Jake Keller ain't passing the ball. <laughs> you silly. I love you, boy. Hey, listen, uh, this is where I'm saying you're disruptive. If if you say you stand on principles, and this is this is who you are. I'm yeah, rocking. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what I'm saying. If you're trying to push it forward to the convert, if the conversation is, we got to start respecting our athletes. When he said that, you looked at him and said, Coach, you just disrespected me. Go in the locker room, because this is what I would have did. If, 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 if Bruce Aarons put me in this situation to feel the way, and I felt the way, if I felt the way he felt, I'd have went in the locker room and I was, did my press conference. Two million people watching. I would have said, listen, I'm no longer playing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because what I stand on... I, there's no way I can walk into that locker room when this coach just talked to me the way he talked to me. Well, the thing, I don't respect what, that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now, now you're putting it back on them. But I think that's what's happening. Nah, listen, B, B, but that's I, the mental think, health thing. You're going to put somebody else to stand on your mind or you're going to take care of your mind for yourself? That, I think that's or happening. you ain't going to listen to your heart and you're going to do what somebody else told you? At the end of the day, my boy, I got to look myself in the mirror. When nobody ain't there and I got to be good with myself, the problem with people is... They worried about how someone reacts. Yeah, you right. worried about yeah, how they look, but, 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 how he did. Yeah. Listen, you do what your heart tell you to do. If yeah. you don't do what your heart tell you to do, at the end of the day, you're going to have some drama in your mind because you felt outside of yourself. And this is what happened. People want to tell people how to react, man. Listen, no one control no one reaction. We all from different forms of life. We all been grown up different ways. How you splurge, me and Swaggy P ain't gonna splurge how you splurge. No, I you get see that. what I'm saying? Right, right. But, you know but, what I'm saying? But this is what I'm saying. But everyone got their own creative to do their self. Yeah. The thing what he just said that made true is, be Marshall willing to do anything to become the achievers goal, no, which right. is greatness, right, right, which right. is greatness. But right, right, at the right, same right. time, what's your integrity in regards to what oh, you so wanna what do saying, to get there? There's two things, there's two things there, right? Because what you, what you talked about is the way that you would've went about it, right? Yeah. And you would've went to the press conference. Yeah. This is the press conference. This is the new form of that. You are, but he is saying, he is standing on principle the way that you would stand on your principle. What I'm saying is, is that I think what he's doing right now makes traditional forms of media and like ESPN irrelevant. Right. Okay. I agree. He's hosting his own press conference right now and all the other I interactions agree. I that agree. he's had. I agree, Jared, but this is the question. He no Hold game. On. Yeah, but, but here's he, the question. He's starting to smell the aroma, huh? <laughs> Okay. But what I'm saying, hold on, 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 hold
How did your career end? How did it end? I want to hear. I got cut. How did it end? I got cut. So okay. I paid, you going you to let me answer? See how the OGs feel emotional you know when the young guys take the float? <laughs> Pass the torch, my boy. Can like, I answer the question? No, you ain't answering it correct. You Listen, said, you said, I'm you talking ain't answering now. it correct. <laughs> Can I holler at you right Go now? Go ahead. All right. <laughs> Everyone the in the question. world got different form of reactions of what happened to them. And it's all based upon where you from, how you feel, and no one only gonna know that regards of who you is. And this is the my thing mind. with football players, mental health, and CTE is this. These guys are willing to do whatever it takes to make some oblig ob obligated game. But they're in the midst of those games, along that journey, they're being mistreated. It's a lot of Facts. stuff yeah. that went on yeah. that may not be handled right. And then you end it, you starting your career on the high. It's like a roller coaster, you go up, yeah. and then as soon as it's about to, as soon as it go to, it's about to go down, everyone leave. So yeah. now I don't, let me ask you some questions, because because we cool by young, but sometimes you gotta listen. Like we got two. You see two, what I'm saying? Two ears, one mouth. All right. So if we all players and we all saying we care about mental health, why every time something happened bad or how someone react, oh he's crazy or something wrong with his mental health? It's not wrong with my mental health. Someone told me get the out of here. I'm not passive aggressive. B. Muscle said he was going to be passive aggressive. Listen to a guy. Tell him, get the F out of here. When the guy already said he never wanted you, whatever, whatever. But it's bigger than me. I know listen, it's bigger than you. Because a lot of guys going here's through what this. I'm saying to you is How this. do you protect your mental health so as a here, football player is, all of that in is regards good. to getting what you want? How do you do that? A.B., all of that is good. I'm asking you one question. I, what? We both ask each other one question. How do I maintain my mental health yep. as a football player and still keep my integrity to get what I want. But basketball player, like, yo, you swaggy, me pass me that shit. You my boy. Me and you playing NBA before the game. You know. Pass me the ball. What you mean? I can take the ball. I'm waiting for the quarterback to throw me the ball. I'm waiting for the... I'm an alpha male, man. Listen, you ain't finna talk to me any kind of way. You ain't finna play with me. That's okay, like so he just said. You felt like they tried you when they asking you about... Mental health when you they're giving it. You ain't feel like they right, disrespect right. you? That's 100%. Jump. But guess what I did, though, That's in that situation? Jump. Security <laughs> now or what? Uh, what? Uh, if I would have reacted, there's a difference between reacting and responding. Respre reacting is emotional. Like, we don't think. We just react, right? Boom. And whatever can happen. Yeah. Responding is actually thought through. Because you know what I see when I see AB? Bro, there's a couple dudes I've been around. I'm like, yo, they work ethic is, is way more crazier than me. And, and, and that's that's saying something, and, I, and I'm not trying to big myself up right now, but I know I went hard, bro. You did. I know I, know, I, know I left that's everything out. You did. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second, one, one second. The Odell Beckham Jr., I had an opportunity to play with him. Bro, Odell worked crazy, crazy hard. You, bro, like, when you talk about, I don't care about all your stats. I care about your process. It's legendary process. Listen, hold bro, on, we no, 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 and so for me, I say that because, yes, now you're talking about integrity and how they treat us. And it's like, okay, how do we navigate through this NFL or just this life where people say things, but like, yeah, I got this goal. I'm, I'm trying to lead the game this way. So my question to you is, and, and basically you're already showing us, basically what, you, what, what I hear you telling me tonight is this. I know what I want and what I'm capable of doing, being the best wide receiver ever to grace this green grass. But if you disrespect me, I walk away from that. I wasn't willing to walk away from that. I was willing to play their game. That wasn't the case. Get what I needed out of, out of the NFL, so I could and that's the mental health. Else. But that's the mental health. He's so willing to. You willing to play a game? I'm playing life. This for real. It ain't no game. The game on the weekend. Right. And life, it ain't no playing no games. Like that's what I'm saying. That's the mental health part of players. I gotta play this game so I could get what Probably I gotta get. get. Like it. Bro, this get real life. Bag. You tell me get the. Out of here, you think I'm gonna just look sad and wait for a fight, right. flight with you? But that's but what they expect you to do. They want you to look sad. That's how yeah. they, they you, connect, they want, you that's, how, that's the mental trick right there. Okay, that's but the this CTE. is why I'm saying all that. Do what you gotta do to get what you gotta get. Do what you gotta do. That's not life. You're right, you're right. But here's the thing do you wanna play? Do you still wanna play? Listen, 
players do what they, they, they play play you players play because of their talent i don't play because i'm like yo you could just do what you so could just you have your way with me will, and i'm just trying play, to get will, it will you play again huh will you play again yeah uh, if it's up to me yeah but that's my thing. Like, listen, all I could do is control man, what I can control. I'm gonna be ready. Man, I'm gonna get my. That. But that's what, what I'm saying. That's, a, that's, that, that's the other control. part of the conversation, Swaggy. There's people. But that's the middle part, Swaggy. People in the NFL, yeah, but, players think. But you, you right, have right, to you do what you, you have gotta to do, do to get what you I gotta to get. Be a certain standard. way, or they ain't gonna want me. Exactly. That's a cold way. So you're not being yourself. You're not being yourself. That's making more crazy. Exactly, and that's why guys keep saying, "Ab, you got me. I got mental wealth." Know why? Because I don't let. What people say. That's how you let it off. No, I, I agree. I, don't I agree. Let, there's two things, but there's two things happening. I don't let my mind feel like, oh, I had this this how year when be go my home shoes. Listen, to it's about that. me. No, the there's two things day. happening. It's true. That that is what creates a lot of issues in dudes. It's constantly forming themselves to the groups and to the associations that they need to be a part of, like the NFL, right? And so when they're done. And their their whole personality is formed in the shape of the NFL. Yeah. You know, football. So now they lost. So now they're lost, right? Okay, so now I you totally smart. agree. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. But but at the same time, I respect Brandon's point in that he Brandon's wanted, in the media right now. He's true, playing fair true. ball. Exactly. No, I'm not. Exactly. No, I'm so not there's two AB. things. No, I'm because I'm with you. This I am athlete, but I know you. Back in the days, bro, your coach tell you get out of here, bro, you leaving. I told you what I would do, and this is in front of the media. You ain't gonna see no Stephen A. Smith or Skip Bayless. Talk the way I'm talking to you and say, like, this is what I would have done. But listen, I don't even get mad about people talking. Listen, their jobs, they, they got a right. job but based on players. So listen, you was living your life and made your professional career to go and talk about guys like me. And I'm crazy? Listen, let me, let, me, let, me, let me hit it this way. I believe that professional sports, whether it's the NBA locker room swaggy or the NFL locker room or the business around it, is the most toxic environment you can be in. Because every day you walk in that locker room, you're talking about you're in a $16 billion business and you got multi-million dollar athletes and every day you got to be up here. There's no industry, there's no business in the world where you got to be up there. So when you talk about mental health, that is a real thing. Yeah. So that's why a lot of us, and they say these numbers, I don't know where these numbers come from, but they say 80% of us are in ruins when we retire because of all of the pressure that we got to deal with. How do you deal with a coach to tell you your ass is cut. Get the hell out of here. What is it? Look, How do you deal with that? There's, so look, I'm with two. you, but what I'm saying is, in life, there's also situations where it's, you know what, this is what I want out of this world, and I got to play the game because I can get this, so I can go here, but whatever. So I'm with whoever. So you saying that situation would stop him from making the Hall of Fame? Or did that, Ed, did that one year, you think that one year was going to, like, I, 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 yes, I think that because of uh, because I'm of saying what, what he, the Hall of Fame gonna do when you get 50 years old? What they gonna just give you a jacket? Like right, I got right, right. plenty of jackets. What well, is I it gonna do? He make it no See, you sound just like that. Ocho. Yeah, no, this isn't like what no, no, we're no, like, no, you looking for verification for someone? You did too much. You did too much. You did too much. You did what I did though. Like yeah, and the principles of the game. It's about what you do in the game. That's right. All the other distractions is made up from other players, other people. Who ain't at the level I'm at, they're gonna drop their two cents on it. Yeah, so for me, for me, Swaggy, it was. How I was did you so get to that point where that, you was just done with football? Yeah. Done with yeah, yeah, like, well, yeah that's like, a good question. How did you get Pete? to that point where you yeah. was just like, you know, where your mental health was at? Out of me, because man. I realized that the conversations I wanted to have that I wasn't having in the locker room, I was spending more time thinking about other things outside of football. And once I, I felt that, and once I was like, I'm not, I'm not being honest with myself. Once I heard myself in interviews and I was saying things I didn't So believe, you quit then, so said, you quit. Yeah, I was like, you know what, so I think I'm done. So he quit, I ain't quit, yeah. I just said, fuck him. I think I'm done. <laughs> he quit. He quit. No, I'm just asking what he said, right? He didn't sit there. No, but that's he said, he quit. In his mind, he wasn't there, he quit. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That's what he said, his right. mind wasn't there, so he gave it up. My mind was there, I was hurt, I couldn't work. Coach said, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, fuck it, call up the jet, I'm out of here. <laughs> Out of here. What are you talking but, uh, about? When I got to Jacksonville, I was living on the beach, right? And you know, all of a sudden, I'm I'm living right on the water. Every day, I'm going home, living on the water, smoking a J, right? And then it's just like, okay, like I'm sitting here watching. Are you the waves one of in. those guys? Yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. watching the waves come in, and I'm uh, like, yeah, he was vibing. Yeah, yeah, he was vibing. I'm like, man, there's, yeah. there's too much, there's too much life out here for me to be, you know, disagreeing with everybody all the time. Right. And so I was trying to talk to the GM at the time. Right. And I was trying to I was trying to find another way to contribute to the team. But I saw the way the GM responded to me. Right. He was talking to me like a child. Right. And I'm like, wait a second. But I'm but I'm not a kid. Exactly. Right? And I see what you see. 
right? And I'm yeah. not trying to take your job, and I'm not trying to have another You're working with him. I'm trying to talk I'm to you. I'm on your squad. Exactly. I'm with you. I'm trying to talk to not you. Not against so, you. So when I saw that, that that wasn't even allowed, that my progression as a man was, so limited, that that was fit limited within the game, that that's fit where I was you. like, okay, I can fight this and fight this and fight this for a couple more mil, or I can walk away with what I have. Yeah, so at that point, it's like, yo, it's not even worth it. Here go your equipment. Here go your logo. I'm gone. Don't even worry about the flight. It's just principles in life. Ain't nobody you working for, you giving your all, you willing to sacrifice your health. So that's showing you I'm all in, bro. I'm a team guy. I'm willing to get shot up, do whatever it takes to give my cause to be a part of the team. Because as you, a player... But you lost... Hold on one second, Jay. So let me ask you this. That to end this conversation, you can jump in and take it wherever you want to go. You know what I'm saying? But like in retrospect, what would you have done differently? I mean, I got to do what my heart said. Yeah. I, you know, you can't... You know, that what's wrong with people. You know, they do stuff... And they try to act like their apology, people telling you to apologize. No, it's no apology. I stand on what I did, you know? Obviously, as a, from the football player perspective, because that's how football players think. Institutionalized. What are, exactly. What do I got to do so I could get to where I got to get? I got the contracts. I got the money. We got the houses. I got the whatever, the yards, stats, whatever. It don't got nothing to do with no one else. It ain't got nothing to do with no other players. I came on this journey as an individual player committed to my destiny. I wasn't worried about what he did, they did. It was about what AB was going to do, how I was going to take advantage of opportunity, how I was going to set my legacy, how I was going to, in regards to everything they did, I did what I did. So what is your legacy? You talked about legacy, so you throw that word around. Yeah. When it's all said and done, because yeah. you're still active, Yeah. what's the AB legacy? What I, what I left for my kids, what example I set, you know, what, what I stood for. What story you know? will be told about you, though? How are they going to tell you a story? What, what story do you want? I'm What's still writing. Okay, what do you mean? Boom. I'm 33 okay. years old. It's still a lot to be done. Right now, you guys are talking to me as an entertainer, rapper. I'm talking to you guys as a philanthropist. I'm educating, you know, whatever. Legacy is really what you leave behind. Right. You know, what you feel good about a generation, what you cause and effect. It's not how many yards I had. People ain't going to remember. You remember who won the Super Bowl in 1978? Oh, exactly. No. You remember? Yeah. No. Of course. People ain't going to remember what you did on the football field. What people that? remember how you make them feel. You when know, you, yeah, my you, people remember what I did in that moment. AB, AB, yeah. that's interesting to me that you say that because, like, I'm learning, right? And, and because I, I would have taken you as a guy, just like your tenacity, your work ethic, and how you approach the game. Like, I would have taken you as a guy that was, like, you know, because you're aware of, like, statistics, legacy from a football standpoint. So that's really interesting to me for you to actually go to, like, the path to enlightenment, where it's like, yo, that none of that stuff matters. Because I, I remember I remember at Super Bowl, we were at, we were in, uh, maybe it was Houston, and I ran into you on uh, Radio Row, and you came up to you, and, and basically you was like, yo, big bro, what's up? I was like, yo, what up? He was like, yo, you know I'm coming after that, that, little, that little record you got. I tell you, it's done already. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that, to me, that's why I'm approaching that way. Because like, no, it's like, I'm like, yo, I, I, I'm connected with him. He, he, he with me, with on like, yo, I'm trying to sh take everything from yeah, the but, NFL but I already that did. I can get. Already did. I felt like there was more, though. Yeah, like the, a dog eating a bone, you know, there's going to be a couple <laughs> scraps left. But he, he, <laughs> he eat it to what his work feels, you heard? <laughs> You know, a lot of people going to look at my situation and my talent. You know, they're like, man, you got so much talent. Because people who got a small mind, they only see you for what you do. You only see me for A, B, or play football. You just learned about the music. You just learned about it. You just figuring out that, oh, that was way back then. Two because, years ago. Of course. So it's yeah. like a lot of things, people are scared of the unknown. People want to figure out, they feel like they figured you out. You know, people is not common with the uncommon. So it's like. Right. People living like y'all and they're trying to fight. Yo, what are you going to do next? What, what, what are you about to, what's about to happen? Yeah, well, I'm, you gotta, I'm still. You got to call God. I yeah. don't know what's about to happen. I'm still All interested. All I know in this moment, you know, I'm intuitive and I'm in tune at my high self. I'm still interested so know, in, right. in when you were talking about legacy, right, and what you want to continue for your children because that's yeah. like one thing that's going on in my but life listen, right now. Listen, your children got to create their own legacy. No, of course. My legacy as a man, what I but leave back for them. No, at the end of the day, they got to continue to build. And what I'm saying is that in my own life, right, yeah. like right now, it's like I can't get the idea of kids out of my head. 
and like wanting to have kids and continue a family. So, of course, there's a bunch of things I don't want to continue, right? That I don't want to continue from, you know, previous generations or something I don't want to do. Is there something with that you don't want to continue or that you want to continue from your father that you want to pass on and exemplify yourself and pass on to your children? You know, at, at the end of the day, they got their relationship with the world themselves. My job is to make sure I got some when I move on and they good and they could become them best selves. You don't got kids yet? No, no, yeah. Oh, okay. No. You got a vasectomy, my boy? Not at all, my man. <laughs> you wait Not, though, at all. man. Not at all. <laughs> I just got to stay away from LA, man. All right, let, hey, let's eat. Let's break bread. Kumbaya. We got the, uh, what is this? We got some steak frites for you. Oh, okay. For steak AB. bites. No animal products. We took care of you, bro. So, I like to get messy on the show. I, I don't know, maybe we already got messy. Nick, you text me. I was like, yo. <laughs> Stop, man. I'm like, yo, I am athlete LA. Got to pull up with I am athlete Miami. Let's collab on this, you know, this conversation with AB. And he was like, yo, I'm, I'm there. And then you hit me up and you like, I don't know if it's going to go well. Because Hollywood Unlocked. <laughs> captured you saying, you know, ABS got to be real with yourself. Like, you're talking about Tom Brady. You got to be real with yourself. So what, what you meant by that, uh, Swaggy? Like, he Tom here. Brady gave him a AB chance. here. AB here. I said here. Tom Brady gave him a chance. That's what I was talking about. What you mean? When he said, when he was mad at Tom Brady, but I was like, Tom Brady gave him a chance. You want to be messy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing I was saying. I don't think nobody else could have. After that situation, I think Tom was like the only one that could have gave him a chance. I don't think there's nobody else in Tom's shoes that could do what Tom do, that could get somebody that just, that could bring somebody back to life. Right, 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 right. I'm saying, but when I wasn't in life, though. No, I'm talking about when. How he brought me back to life? When you gave up on 30 million, that's what I was talking about. To be a champion, though. Yeah. That's right. I wanted to be a champion, though. I was already had 30 mil. Wait, all right, let me let me dive in. Come Swaggy on, yeah, I'm right here. He not laying oh, no, you listen, up. Listen. He not laying you up. Swaggy said he, he really, I should have really, I, I took what Swaggy said. I should be grateful that Tom Brady, for his status and who he is, I sh like, it was like it was Kobe Bryant called him. Right. You know, I should, I, of course, not I feel grateful. grateful. Not, I feel gratitude about, like yeah, the yeah. GOAT gave me an opportunity. Somebody really care about me enough to want me to come back and play with them. At that stature, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. And I go back to the, the first show that you did after, you, you know, after the, the MetLife situation. And you said, you know, if I wasn't AB, the ultimate competitor, and I couldn't catch the ball the way I catch the ball, do what I do. Yeah. Right? So, like, when you said that, I said, oh. But that's life. That's, yeah. It's not wrong with that. Right. If, if, but a lot of people So, so he but came and got me like, listening. But there's a lot of people right now, like, how you do that to Tom Brady? How you do that to Tom Brady? Tom Brady's career don't have nothing to do with my career, man. He don't, he not the coach. He don't run the team. He can't control what happened to me. He got a job to do. Every individual out there got a job to do. What happened to me, it was unfortunate. That's what had, that what had to do with me. It had nothing to do with him. Everyone want to make it like it's a problem. There's no problem. We're just talking about reality situations, but they all make people react a different way. Yeah, I'm grateful that he gave me an opportunity when Swaggy thought I walked away from 30 million. But I ain't talked to Swaggy in a while, so I had to let him know, like, bro, I wanted to be a champion. I made a decision to not want to be there. Why? Because I, mean, I didn't want to be there. Because you were, it seemed like he was excited. It seemed like he was excited to be there, though. <laughs> Listen, but it, but, but it that's, like what, you, that's you, what the media do. Yeah, they irrationalize yeah. every decision you make. Listen, I don't know why you made the decisions you make. I don't know how your mind works. I, I respect what decisions you make, even if I think it's right or wrong. Swaggy thought Fair. maybe I was tripping. Anyone in the normal might have mind to think, bro, you walking away from 30 million, you yeah. tripping. But it's take a certain amount of courage to know I already got 30, that I want to be a champion. You see what I'm saying? At this point in my career, I just wanted to win. So it wasn't about the money at that point. It's about getting, aligning myself to become a champion of what I did in 2020. But for people in 2019, they was thinking like, oh, this guy's dumb, he crazy, he don't understand, he, he, he checked out. Right. But now when the Super Bowl, I come back out of eight game suspension and they miss that narrative. 
They missed that narrative AB with the saucy route at the one yard line. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They yeah, missed that. The Bucks don't, the Bucks they don't missed win the, the Super family Bowl. on the field. The Bucks don't win the Super Bowl if you're not there. They missed that, though. Yeah, you, 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 that was a nice run. They but, missed but we, that, though. Now, yeah, but we talking to people, bro, and they just seeing the situations, and they seeing that. But not everybody not see hearing, the full picture you know, they so see like, from the TV. But that's why it's good they to have you They see from the internet. Here. That's why it's good to have you here to be able to. That's why I'm here to kumbaya to tell my side. That's right, facts. Everybody else is talking about what they heard and what they saw. A lot of times in the world, stuff happen. People have stuff happen. You never hear from them. You never hear the truth. You never hear their side. You only heard what was portrayed. What? So what was the situation? Now, here go more questions. Listen, <laughs> I'm here for answers. Listen, I'm, here for, I'm, I'm the answer. I'm here for answers. Yeah, I'm here to share love and here talk about solutions, not problems. I don't have no problem. I'm blessed. I'm hanging out with Madonna, Kanye. I'm living a, I'm living a great <laughs> living life. A My life. kids happy. <laughs> Baby mama's happy. Everything's blessed. That's hard to do right there. Baby. You see what I'm saying? Like, everyone's got all kind of, I balance stress well. I'm blessed. I don't think you should understand. I don't want you to understand. This is what AB, you feel me? I don't know how you keep your baby mama's happy. Shh, you guys That's take care of the kids. That's <laughs> how you keep them. Take care of the kids. Take care of the kids. Yeah, yeah they get mad and, and support. Anything. People need support. You feel me, B Marsh? People need support. Don't you yeah. think if people treated you yeah, good and love, you could get the best out of you? Or yeah. Not? Hell yeah. 100%. All right. So let's practice on showing each other. Love. Yeah. Genuine love. You ain't got, you could big up yourself without, or without saying someone else. We know Brandon Marshall great. It ain't matter what Larry Fitzgerald did. How do you show genuine love? And who do you show it to? I try to show it to everyone I meet. Yeah. Genuine love is loving someone no matter where they from and no phase or form. You showing them love. A woman, you could get that dough for. A woman, I could hold that dough for you. Most time, people out here are not considerate or they're reacting on what somebody else says, so now they're not giving a chance. You're giving you a chance. I, I mean, I love that. I mean, we can go so many. That's why I love podcasts and this type of forum. We can talk and we can go so many different ways. I want to just cap off that Tom Brady conversation. Tom Brady. Like what makes him the goat? What makes him special? You know what I'm saying? Like you was around him, and, and it's yeah. like a it's an honor to play with legendary players. Yeah. You know, I had the Jason Taylors of the world, the Champ Bailey's of the world. You know, yeah. you had you played with Kobe, right? Steph. S you Steph Curry, One right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and let's Kevin dive Durant, into that. Katie, with, let's yeah, start with Tom yeah. Brady. Like what what's special about Tom Brady? Tom Brady's a winner. He's working every day to be a winner, and he's a leader. Meaning. He's tapping in with everyone around him to know the mission that we on. Not individually, collectively. And he does a good job with going about that every day to make sure everyone on that same mission. How many more years he got? I, I mean, I'm not a genie, you know? If you had to guess, though, if you, could, if you was a genie. <laughs> How, you guess. How many there, ever you years know, he, he want? Kind of dude How many ever years he want, man? Like, yeah, he could get happy. Yeah, How many ever years he want? Yeah. Years he want? So? yeah. Yeah. He's, what he, 44, 45? I don't think y'all want him to leave the lead, though. Yeah. What you mean? I don't know if y'all can handle Tom Brady leaving the NFL. Okay, take Tom Brady out of it. Who's next in line for you? You Lamar, played with the GOAT. You Lamar won a Super Jackson. Bowl with the GOAT. That's who you want to play for? Action Jackson. Let's, let's, let's give Lamar Jackson his flowers. Yeah, for sure. Why? They did not want him to win MVP. You don't know why? What do you no, mean I, why? I, you, I'm, I'm saying you, yes, you watch games. I want game. you to say it so they can <laughs> tell you know, the people. He just said, yes, hey, listen, I know why. Shout out to Lamar Jackson. That's it. Right. Lamar Jackson is a great quarterback. Not only him throwing the ball, the dynamic of him yeah. playing, the excitement. Give me, your, give me your top five quarterbacks right now. Like, if you had to rank top five quarterbacks you would play for right now. You know, you like that. Your your style fit with they style. I don't know who I play for. Just tell them hit my phone. <laughs> Real. Hit my phone. Man, I ain't I can't. Know, I, look, I don't know. I don't know if we that's ain't his running vibe, campaigns. Though. Stafford, like we ain't running quarterback campaigns right now. I think we taking hits every day. That's why y'all crazy though. Like y'all <laughs> up. Man. Tell him, P. <laughs> tell him he <laughs> fucked up. Go ahead, P. Tell him. Like Keep it, P. P. I will see you in the room, locker room, like this. Captain, man, 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 man. He even said, I just smiled. I didn't laugh. That's that. He playing the game.
He gonna talk about it right after, like, oh shit. yeah, man. I need gonna... to have my hoodie on at the gas station. When the trying to speak he to high. me, I turn my head like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a football guy, man. man. All right, let me ask you this then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> lying, man. With the quote for the saying, get the out of here. I'll see me in the locker room after this. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Say, what you would've did? I would've did the oh, No, oh, not shit. you. What you would've did, Swaggy? Would, if he would've told me that? Yeah. Man, I flipped out, took my jersey off, threw it in the stands. So in that situation, what you would've did? You wanna whisper yeah. to the coach? Well, coach, I I'm just feel like, I feel like, I feel like there's, 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 <laughs> there's, you know, both approaches are needed depending on what you're trying to accomplish. You feel me? So it's like you got Martin Luther King, you got Malcolm X. No, nah, but we can't use that as no example. Like, why is that? <laughs> this is some bigger than like these boys was riding for liberation, liberation. This natural work environment, my boy. Like, you got freedom nowadays. Like, it ain't even a time like this. This is a work environment. A guy <laughs> yeah, saying it. You see how football guys? He took it way back. I, I was a guy at the job. Uh, this is what happened. I just walked off a job. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm a famous guy. To, and the job is on TV, the most viewed. I just did what a normal person would do at work. Crazy, See this nice right? hat right here, this Swaggy P. You know, I've been watching them <laughs> get fly good. for a long time. Oh, that's Swaggy's hat? Yes, yeah, Swaggy's hat. Right, that's a gift, man. He got Swaggy's it. Swaggy's is one of those icon players who just always been fashionable, always stand for itself. You see when man. he shoot the threes, I know I'm going to get a celebration down court. <laughs> I'm going to see the energy. Right. He's an aspiring player who represents himself. Hey, let me get my shades if you ain't. Yeah, turn up. What are you I'm doing? From the pit under the palace. palace. Yeah. Hey, yeah. zoom in on that boy. He kind of sweaty hey, with it. Hey, this was, all right, let's end the show. This was phenomenal. Okay. I appreciate you. I do want to say this. Who else? We got to get a flowers. Can we have a moment on the Kumbaya session? Can you give yeah, somebody yeah, a flowers? flowers? Yeah. Give somebody. It ain't got to be me. It could me. be because you me. know I'm self-sufficient. I, I, I've been saying it a couple of times on the show. Like, I'm in a new space right now. I like that. And so I'm learning from a lot of people. So, like, like all the smoke, Matt Barnes and them boys, I love what they're doing for the athletes and creating these safe places for, for us to have our real conversation, authentic conversation the ways we need to. So I like that. And then also Noriega. I love drink champs. So us, the, I, I want to like get flowers that. to them. Cause I'm flowers to drink. Y'all ain't got a button buzzer in here? A son that could announce the flowers? Mm -mm. <laughs> Come on. Owen Benjamin, Sam Hyde. Who is those people though? Come on. They're comedians. Uh, I was inspired by those two comedians to go uh, to go feed people, know, right? To to start in the middle of this uh, world event. I want to get a flowers to Big Matt. He been around basketball for 20 plus years. He give his life for the game. He live and breathe the game and. Kumbaya with players to keep us on that mission and remember their existence. So I want to get a flowers to Big Mac, Kyrie Irving coming back and playing ball. We want to send a love to Ki and Big Mac. Kumbaya. I want to give a special shout out to my mom, my dad yeah. for working hard and keeping a roof over my head and for me for just sitting here with AB and listening to him and. You know, he do him, and you got to respect the person that's themselves and not afraid to be who they are and stand, stand for something, too. So Respect, that's love. A.B., uh, who you want to invite to the, to, the, to the show next? Like, who you, if there's one person you felt like, you know, it would be a dope person to be on I Am Athlete. Probably Big Matt. Big Matt. <laughs> Big Matt. If he do, I don't know if Big Matt do, like, interviews, but... I had to be with KD too. Though. Yeah, maybe for sure him and KD. KD, one of him and Kyrie, one of those guys that commit to greatness every day, live off a routine every day, work hard every day. Them boys saying for principles of being great at the highest level over and over. So guys like that, you need to be on the show because those are examples of guys who other guys want to be, other guys learn from, and you need to know why, what makes them like that so we could create more guys like that. Love. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Cheering for you. For Respect. real. We had to fight to get a meal. Yeah, wrongfully accused. We had to fight to get a pill. That's why we right to get a deal. Hold on, take, let me see. Let us see. Let us see. Fam. Nah, bro, you had me fooled. I respect it now. Hey. Oh, Fam, why you ain't put a line on that? This is like clean in the front, dirty in the back. 
Like that professional, but in the back, he gritty. So in the back of your mind, you gritty. Oh, yeah, it started from the bottom, but we made the top. Found out what the blueprint was, and then we made it pop. We hanging out, man. Hey. Hey. Business booming, you got a new chain. You came back with another chain, like. Trying to boost the show business. <laughs> <laughs> You just f***ing up this whole day. <laughs> you just need to shut the f*** up. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Get up in there, you got a book in there, bro. Like, yo, I'm trying to be cordial on the show. With you, like, get, you know, I get, get on that pack, you know what I mean? My boy hit that dough, you know? <laughs> 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 My dog got big boogers in his nose. <laughs>